I, uh, do something interesting, become the next. <laughs> <laughs> do <Yeah>. something interesting. <laughs> become Don't get arrested, though. That's fun. Yeah, because- Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. I'd like to discuss demographic um, mm. uh, really quick, because this is really important. Um, in your opinion, dealing with the, the things that you deal with at SB, what seems to be the hot demographic, age or sound, mm. for promos and in-show and also for interactive? Yeah. Because commercial. it's probably and a little commercial. bit different. And yeah. commercial, yeah. Yeah. Very different between our... Yeah. 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 But, but we, I think also starting to overlap. A little bit, a yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, diversity right now is so important because the networks, animation networks, yeah. they, they of course want to show more diversity within their characters. Mm-hmm. So that's very important. And um, you said hot, I don't know. I mean, that, like we were saying earlier, there's really no new characters. Right. There's, there's, versions of characters right. and what sense of humor do you have to put into that character speaking of animation of course yeah. not interactive or commercial that's not yeah. so much about that but yeah it's there's nothing new under the sun but diversity right. is right big. and commercially what are you feeling is mm. just really in demand yeah it's celebrities it's so hard <laughs> celebrities yeah, yeah it really is yeah. commercially yeah. it's that i think is the biggest challenge um, that genre is commercial mm-hmm. because somewhere along the line, celebrities figured out that it was okay to, to have their voice on commercials. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the old days, they were selling out if they did that. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like you have to do it or you're not Well, cool. they found out that it was... <laughs> there's a lot of money good in it. Good money. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So yeah. there's that and the downward pressure of non-union. So commercial's very, very challenging. Yeah. So... Really, if, if people come and to have a rep meeting and they say, you know, their their dream is to have a, a commercial account, that's our dream too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. So great. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, harder to get now. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah, they're making less and less than this of those. But in the in the commercial world, are you looking for more of a you know bigger authoritative or more natural? Natural. And- yeah, natural is they they say. Don't give me actors. Don't give me mm-hmm. announcers. Don't give sound me, like a voice Give actor. me actors. <laughs> give me natural. Yeah. And then they go with a deep announcer. Yeah. It, totally, right? That's, that's all. So, and because we know that that happens, Cynthia, right. I'm sorry. I'm totally hogging no, this no, conversation. No, no, it's okay. But, I'm usually hogging. But, but if there's somebody out there, maybe somebody that you even represent, and they do kind of have a, like that, mm-hmm. you know, bigger voice, what would you recommend that they do to make themselves a little bit more viable for today's Oh, industry so hard i mean can they just work on just loosening up their delivery a little bit um we, we like to suggest improv classes um because it does just just, just that. that it it takes people out of their comfort zone mm-hmm. and allows yeah. them to play there you go a little bit more yeah we, we like to recommend out. it. I can't say that they take us <laughs> up on it. Yeah, because can I just say something for all you big announcers out there? If you listen to companies like, uh, gosh, Taco Bell does it, um, Dairy Queen does it, um, the parody, Little Caesars, that- Leader Ce- mm-hmm. Little Caesars does it. They do a lot of these parody announcer parody announcer guys. Yes, and they're making fun of the guy, but they use guys that actually do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like. There's work out there for these guys. You just got to know how to get it and right. what to do with your voice to get it. And have a sense of humor. It of course. Some, comedic yeah. timing. Which yeah. that improv helps you get yeah. looser. Loosen yeah. your big Completely. Loosen your big voice. Yeah, I, yeah. I think improv is any genre that we yes. are in. It cannot do anything but help you with it. Yeah. What about promos, Jessica? Mm-hmm. Um, like what seems to be kind of like, you know, the end thing with promos? Do they want older men, women, Younger, I, I think it it varies based on the network yeah. and the programming, the show in particular. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, it's conversational, young, hip, you know, kind of a little edgy. Um, that's that's mostly what we're seeing as far as trends 
right now. Yeah. Good, because that's 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 kind of what you hear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I always tell people, man, if you ever want to know what the trends are, just listen to what's happening. It's like they're right there. Yeah. That's that's the best piece of advice that I think we can give anybody to and that we can give to anybody who wants to get into promo mm-hmm. is yeah. just turn on your television mm-hmm. yeah. and watch TV and don't fast forward through yeah. the commercials and the promos. Actually, not just for promo, but for commercial Every as time. well. Yeah, of yes. course. Um, take note, pay attention to what it is that you're hearing. For promo in particular, um, you know, get a feel of the networks and what kind of programming they're doing and how they are marketing their shows. And um, I think that will, um, when an opportunity comes your way as a talent, if it's for, you know, X network, if you've done your homework and done a little research, Mm -hmm. you're going to feel a little bit more confident because you already know and you already have an understanding of what that network is all about for yeah. sure and that's true for animation as well if you're auditioning for nickelodeon or cartoon mm-hmm. network or warner brothers or disney or universal they have different yeah vibes yeah even disney junior right because that's for so little it's so important kids. and what we do when we send out copy for actors we have a, an information sheet and we'll give them as much information so if we know who the casting director wrote we're going to tell you if we know who wrote it who created it we're going to tell you so you can hopefully Research yeah. those people and yeah. and tailor your audition style to that to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's a part of being the hundred percent of your yeah. career. Yes. So as far as auditions go, you guys listen to everything before it goes out. Nothing. Promo does. Promo listens to every audition before it gets submitted. Wow. And and, and do you do that or yes, you do that. Yes, the agents. Together, we usually listen. And to sometimes I together. get my nose in there and listen to because we're all in the same on, room. Yeah. And does somebody and nobody listens to the animation? Well, auditions? our booth director does. Your booth director, even the, does. even if you've you MP3 today, so somebody she knows listens. that you know things are being. Oh yes, but yeah. agents, submitted. I don't have the time. Yeah, no, no, of course oh, not. No. No. You're too important. No, no, <laughs> it's not that I'm too important <laughs> because if if an actor asks me to listen to an, a specific audition, yeah. I will, mm-hmm. and I'll give them. My notes. <laughs> <laughs> but, Get a snack. Which but, you may or may not like. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, and I like to do that. In, yeah. yeah. In the old days when I did booth direct, because in the old days, each agent would be in the booth for a week. Mm-hmm. So um, I'd have my booth week and I'd be in the booth. Yeah. And I love that. I love directing actors yeah. on commercial copy or animation copy. Um, so when I do get the opportunity to listen, I do enjoy it. What do you find are some of the most common missteps with mm-hmm. auditions for actors mm-hmm. when they're submitting? I'm going to jump in okay. and cut me off if you want to. Yeah. Um, to me, I'm not ever going to make a decision on the vocal choice that you made. I'm going to listen to your performance mm-hmm. and I'm going to read the script while you're performing to see if you've honored the stage directions. All scripts contain stage directions. They might not be very good because the casting person may not have selected the proper script to show you off the best for the character description. Mm -hmm. But is your character standing up? Or is your character sitting down? It sounds different. If you say, hey, how you doing? If you're sitting down, it sounds very different than if you're entering a room, leaving a room. So I want to hear the activity. I want to... Literally, I want your character to step off the page and, and put you. I want to put you in the action. action. Yeah. So I caught the stage directions. Mm-hmm. That's good. And I was listening to someone's audition yesterday because when I say I don't have to. Well, sometimes I do because sometimes a casting person will say only send your top seven. Well, I've got forty people that are right for it, so yeah. I'm going to mm-hmm. put the, give the forty people an opportunity, and then sadly, I have to do the cut. The, the cut. Yeah. Which shouldn't be my job. The casting person should do that, but yep. the casting person has put this limitation on me that yep. I have to honor. So I will then have to listen. And it's very, the first thing to go is if the audio quality is bad. Mm. So I want to stop you right there. Uh-huh. He's going to want you the to repeat that. The first thing that goes <laughs> is if the audio quality is bad. Oh, it's so easy yeah. to I'm telling people right now, they're like, I'm not booking anything. Blah, blah. And it's like, well, what do you, how you, well, I yeah. use my iPhone. And I'm like, oh my God. You know, you're one of the first people that are they're going to be the nose. And that it, uh, iPhones can be good quality if your Sometimes, environment is yeah. right. Yes. And you know how to do it. Yeah. So because I've had so many casting people say to me, I can't submit that. The audio quality really is bad. The producer's going to wonder, why did I bring that to them? Mm-hmm. So 
it's not my rule. It's the casting person's rule, but I know that it's the rule. Yeah. So yeah. the first thing to oh, you on. And um, there is a, a, a disagreement on um, ad libs. I don't mind an ad lib, but I don't ever want you to start with an ad lib because the writer has spent hours on trying to decide if they should say, I don't know, or gee willikers which says the same thing, but the writer put thought into it. So yeah. honor the writer. And, in, and if you feel you must ad lib, and I know some people do a, um, in their brain, you know, they say that yeah, you look right. quietly and go, I right. lead in, yeah. which I know some casting people say, oh, lead ins are fine, but they're not for me. Um, I want the first three to five seconds to be what the producers want to hear. And so if I have to listen, I'm going to be following the script. And yesterday I was listening to somebody and it said, entering battle. And, and the line is, he's entering battle. And it sounded like he was sitting in an armchair. Mm. <laughs> the wrong kind of battle. He was, uh, so I, he didn't get <laughs> submitted. A metaphorical battle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His take didn't get submitted. Mm -hmm. Because if I, I have to narrow it down, the producer's yeah. going to be narrowing it down. And yeah. they're thinking, hey, he's entering battle? What? Yeah. So stage directions are so important. So important. Thank and you I, for bringing that up. I think really that is, actors yeah. think so much about the voice and maybe they're wearing headphones. I don't know, but they forget that it's a performance. Yeah. Performance, performance, Beautiful. performance. I would say on, on that note for promo in particular, a couple of things. Um, audio quality, so, so important in mm -hmm. promo because promo moves at such a, a quick speed that oftentimes we'll get called that um, the audition has been lifted and turned into work. So yeah. the, the actor is not actually brought in for a, an actual session because the um, audition did the trick. Mm -hmm. And if your quality isn't spot on, then you don't, you don't have the opportunity yeah. to just have that happen and help the producer just move along the spot. Mm -hmm. um, so audio quality, really important in promo. The other really important thing about um, promo auditions is timing. So mm -hmm. if there is a timing note on mm -hmm. the script mm -hmm. that you follow it, if it is a 30 second script or a 60 second script, if it's, you know, I, it doesn't really matter if you, the talent think that it's overwritten, you still need to try to fit yeah. all of the words into 30 seconds. Yeah. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Because yeah. you can if do If it that. says seven yeah. seconds, <laughs> somebody wants it seven. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. Be also because in promo, when you are at the session, the room producer might say to you, okay, I need you to, you know, shave off three frames from that last line. You need to be able you to deliver. You need to deliver. be able to do it mm -hmm. live, yeah. And yeah. you need to know what that means. And you, good, exactly. Good point. SOT. Yeah. So what? Huh? <laughs> yeah. What's Back that? in the days when I did direct people in uh -huh. the booth, mm -hmm. I would have my timer on commercial copy. Yeah. If it's a because that if it's a thirty second spot and you come in at twenty eight, you know you're getting it right. Yeah. Right. Right. And if it's a thirty second spot and you've come in at thirty two, you're too slow. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. not. They're not. They're not going to give the producer what they're looking to hear. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, re and reaction, like you were saying about stage direction, and you mentioned SOTs. Same thing. Yeah. Be be a part of the of, story yeah. that right. the script is telling. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, As a, I, yeah. yeah, and I tell people this all the time on mm -hmm. and, and on the subject of promo is that when you see an SOT, Read it's it. not just there. <laughs> Read it. You're either introducing it or yes. something's going to react to what you're saying, or and, and it's like it's important. It's a part of the story. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I know because I've heard people say, "Well, it doesn't say VO. That's not my part." I'm like. You're a part of the whole thing. All, <laughs> You're a piece yeah. of the puzzle. Every, know yes. the other pieces of the yes. puzzle. Yes. Very, very good. So let's talk about in-show narration mm. real quick. Yes. That's the stuff when you're watching your favorite show out there and there's a little voice that's helping you follow along the show. That's an in-show uh, announcer. And there's lots of them today. There's more than there ever has been. But I want to know, is it more important that it be the right voice or more important that you are able to tell a story and guide somebody through the show? Definitely storyteller, guide the person um, through the show. Essentially as a, as an in-show narrator, you, you are, you are acting as the 
you're the host, but you're also kind of on the sofa with the viewer. Right. Experiencing the story Mm -hmm. with them. So the storytelling aspect is tremendously important. Beautiful. That's fantastic. And um, uh, I've also noticed, and I just want to talk about this because it's important. Nobody talks about it. Uh, In show narration demos, like rarely, there's so many, there's not a lot of people that have them. Mm -hmm. More people have them now than ever before, but there's not a lot of people that, I know people that have gotten in show narration jobs off Mm -hmm. of their in show narration demo. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really, really important tool. Um, Do you, is that something that you tell your some of your people, hey, you have a great voice, you're such a great storyteller, you might want to think about getting yourself an in-show narration mm-hmm. uh, demo? Sure. Yeah. And I think it's, you know, as that as that work is booked, it's it's actually really easy to put together a, a narration demo because you just take a, you know, a little segment from a show yeah, that you've you- done and and you can put something together and Yeah, definitely. On that point about booking something straight off of a demo, there's a lot more of that Mm -hmm. happening in our business Mm -hmm. too. So it's just another reminder, make sure your demos are current, um, make sure that they're really showing your best self, your best performance. Um, Because often I know for, for you too, producers will, or casting directors will now just go to our website Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, narrow to a certain category and click on demos and um, just based on what they hear off of our website will come to us with requests for auditions mm-hmm. or booking. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So That's a lot of important. opportunities are cultivated just from yeah. demos. Yeah. What, what are you finding? Because um, I know there was a big chunk of time where the social media presence, the followers, mm-hmm. that that was really... Um, Because a lot of my friends were saying, oh, I didn't get that audition because I didn't have enough followers. Mm -hmm. How are you guys Mm -hmm. finding that? I mean, is that something that's really in a conversation with your buyers about people's presence? It is. Or the way that they do social media, they're saying too much, they're, you know, how much are you getting of that? Cynthia's like, where do we start? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Because it's huge. Yeah. Um, I'm going to address animation. Okay. Okay. Um, because of the nature of the casting process, so many of the animation shows now are going to celebrities mm-hmm. or people who maybe are on a, a live action Disney show and marketing wants to put that person in an animated series because mm-hmm. it's instantaneous cross marketing. Mm-hmm. Right. It's all about marketing. So, um, it breaks my heart because the the jobs go to people who who aren't necessarily right in my opinion yeah. for yeah. the role, but not that my opinion matters. But I know we have so many people who could do that character so beautifully, yeah. mm-hmm. and it goes to someone who the marketing department believes at the time for publicity. And I just got one today where the publicist sent me the the links and the social, what the actor could just drop into their Twitter or drop into their um, Facebook, Instagram. 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 Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so important. And you yeah. can't make a social following. You're either somebody that people want to follow yeah. because you're interesting or fascinating or whatever. You know, it's not yep. something you can cultivate. It just is. It's a yeah. magical thing. Yeah. So, you know, the it girl from the 20s, you know, I don't, yeah. I don't. So it's extremely frustrating yeah. Um, because I have so many actors who just don't have that following. Mm-hmm. And so how can I get it? I say, ah, 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 do something interesting, become the next. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, something interesting. <laughs> become get arrested, though. That's bad. Yeah, become the next Photograph Ariana Grande board. or whatever. Yeah. So, and, and then sometimes we'll, for commercial, it doesn't happen that much, but I believe that, that casting people and producers look at social following without telling us, but there have been times mm-hmm. when they've asked us to write down the social following numbers on commercial auditions. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So. Interesting. Yes. It's, That's it's a, a new We are angle. living in a yeah. different <laughs> era. We are. are. It's, yeah. it's very real. And, yeah. um, Jessica's like, uh, Out of, this is my era. It what doesn't, are you guys talking about? It doesn't. It doesn't I don't pretend to. It doesn't really affect don't. promo. I don't know your era, yeah. Chuck. Yeah. But it affects commercial. It affects interactive. 
and animation, mostly animation and interactive again because of the marketing mm -hmm. possibilities that the marketing departments right. at the studios or the the development companies can yeah. avail yeah. themselves. And I've done contracts for feature films where it's built into the deal that the actor will post on their social. Mm -hmm. It's just a part of it. Right, right. How about we talk about now the do's, uh, the, uh, the, the, the do not do's <laughs> of social do media. Because I've heard people oh. lose jobs oh, yes. because they're yeah. posting something that they shouldn't have. Yeah. Well, there's a well-known actor who was in a well-known series that lost his job midway through the season for a, a, a really inappropriate social posting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a children's show, and it was not a children's post. Um, he was replaced. Mm -hmm. um, uh, most of our actors make their mistakes by jumping the gun and posting something which happened today. We got right. a call from a, a studio saying, your actress just posted that she's this role. This hasn't even been announced mm. yet. Yeah. And actors forget that they've done the job, but it's not their role. They have no right. rights to it. And the Absolutely. contract has, it's about this long of the rights that you do yeah. not have. Well, and yeah. even more, the, oh, I did an audition. I did a callback. And it's yeah, like, you don't get to do that. No. It's not and your story to tell. It's not. Yeah. And you have to wait until the publicity department has releases it and says, yes, you can talk about it. And this particular person today read, saw on IMDb that her character was mm. posted. But stuff goes on IMDb all the time that right. isn't. Um, okay yeah. by the studios. Yeah. Yeah. And they were mad at her. Yeah, you don't yeah. want a major studio mad at you because you no. posted no, about your man. character. It's not cool. Or it's Cynthia. Not cool. Or <laughs> Cynthia, especially <laughs> Cynthia. Yeah. <laughs> so for for people watching, you know, that so desperately want to have success in this industry. No, oh, there's the buzzkill. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> right? you smell that? You Desperate? Smell that? Yeah. They, they really want to be <laughs> on a path doing this as a career. Do you have any advice for them um, in the business of today? I would say um, remember that voiceover is a business mm -hmm. and that it is important to educate yourself and, um, and know what it is that you're getting into and, and have an, a real understanding of voiceover as an industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all the little pieces, right. yeah. the requirements. And it's not just talking into a microphone. Mm -hmm. That's not and the business nice side, that's the voice. fun side. Yeah, totally agree, mm -hmm. Jessica, mm -hmm. for sure. I think anybody who wants to do this should go to D Baker's brilliant oh, yes. website. Yes. I want to be a, a voice, voice actor. actor. Yep. Mm -hmm. And read it and believe it. Yeah. He's put he loves this industry and he yeah. wants people who are growing up into the industry to do well. Yeah. And he has spent so much time distilling mm -hmm. his uh, his experience and what he's observed into these wonderful collection of essays. Yeah. And it's pretty yeah. I want yeah. to be a voice actor. Yeah. .com. Absolutely. Hey, right you know what else screen. is free? VOBuzzWeekly.com. <laughs> That's free too. Loop these episodes. <laughs> and you're not going to find these guys on D's website either. So there you go. <laughs> um, gosh, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for sharing so with us. So fantastic. We have a mystery question. Ooh. Ooh. So you can each pick a card. But from my response to the desperate, yes. don't ever be desperate in I this know. industry. So make sure that you can pay your rent while you're pursuing your career. And, it's so important. And, yeah. so important. you know, you, it needs to be a night job. Yeah, because yeah. you can but hear that. You can hear that in the, Absolutely. in the work. And yeah. you want to be creative. You want, when when you have the opportunity to read for the whatever it is you're reading, you don't want to be thinking, oh, I got to get this, I got to get this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I would say the other piece of advice is never compare your career to anyone else's. That's that. so good. Yes. It, yeah, because every, every all single, different. completely different. Yeah, yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. Um, all right, mystery question. Hmm. Jessica, you have to read this in a in, in a Cynthia, promo voice. <laughs> and Cynthia, you have to read it in a video game hero voice. <laughs> oh man. I'm totally kidding. Entering battle. <laughs> Cynthia. In battle. I'll see you if I can <laughs> channel Laura Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> my question is. 
Wait a minute. What are the rules? There's no rules. You just read the question and answer it uh, what you would answer. Oh, not read the question in your promo voice. No, you don't need to do that. You can if you'd like. You can. No, thanks. Okay. In your mom voice. What? (laughs) My question is, what did the Back to the Future movies get most right and wrong about the future? Ooh. Ooh. I'd ask for another car. <laughs> no, that's really I good. I mean, I love the Back to the Future franchise. I would say um, most most right about the future. Um, hoverboards do exist. They do. I just saw yes. one the other day. Um, most wrong. They catch about on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> They're hazardous. Yeah, for sure. Um, Was that in that movie? No. <laughs> That's the sequel. It's coming. I don't I'm trying the, so the 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 second one I think is the one where they that don't the, that yeah. They're in the uh the future. Yeah. What did they get wrong about the future? I don't I don't know. Flying cars. Oh, sure. No, we have that. We have flying cars. Well, ish. Airplanes? No, we have flying cars. <laughs> we there have are flying, flying airplanes. cars. <laughs> We have flying cars. What we don't have is we don't have the transportation of the time travel. The time travel. Okay. So that they got wrong. Okay. Do you want right? a different card? No, this was no. That was good. <laughs> and you know what? It was educational. It was a group at the effort. same time. Yeah, I really enjoyed okay. that. Cynthia's like, if I had gotten that card, Cynthia, I would not. Have you're it. not getting a new card. <laughs> but this is a really boring question. That's it okay. Is. Make it interesting. Uh. <laughs> What tech device are you addicted to? Oh. <laughs> I'm not. You are. Get no. Oh, yes, you are. Addicted Take a different to a tech You are addicted device. to it and you don't even know it. You can't even admit it. <laughs> <laughs> My deep, dark is... No, I have an iPhone. Of course she does. Very good. And you're on that's it 24 good. hours a day. A television, that's tech. Ooh, that is tech. Mm-hmm. What tech device are you addicted to? Television. Television? Well, that's, you know, job security. You need to be I'm addicted picking, to that. I'm picking a lot of interesting ones. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh like, let's gosh. end on that. Can um, I just say that you guys are just absolutely amazing. Awesome. Um, you're so busy oh, and you more. took time <laughs> off to come here and yes. share with us, Stacy and I, and with all mm-hmm. of our fans out there around the world. And the information that you shared with us is so relevant and just so Priceless. good. I mean, I know that people out there right now have been taking a bunch of notes and that they're going to, so. their, their career is going to be better because of what you guys have shared. So thank yeah. you. You're welcome. So thank you cool. for your devotion, your dedication, the time that you take away from your family and your own lives to, to make our industry better. I mean, it oh, really is, it thanks. doesn't go unnoticed thank and you. your whole agency is just phenomenal. Even the dudes. You know, we work for <laughs> an amazing woman. Yes. You yes, you her do. Her grace and her humanity is, and we were talking about this on the way over here because mm-hmm. I can't imagine not being where I am. Mm-hmm. Me too. Well, you're always welcome here, and thank you so much thank for you. All, that you've, all that you've done and all that you're doing. Thank you. Well, that concludes uh, our two-part episode with uh, Cynthia and Jessica from SPD Talent. And I know I'm going to be getting a ton of emails in the coming weeks saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for having them on because you guys were awesome. We're going to be back next week with a brand new show for you. Yes, we will. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow all of us on social and just remember, you you always have time time for a little buzz. And we are rolling. (laughs) <laughs> Hi, I'm She's Cynthia, Cynthia. <laughs> I'm, I'm Jessica Volovsky of SBB Talent. Talent, and we, we just, just got, got buzzed, buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Woohoo! Good night. <laughs>